Good freaking morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm surrounded by a big tree, as you can see. I'm trying to get some shade. Um, it is very rainy on the Sunday, but regardless, it's still a good day, of course. You already know the vibes. In today's video, I want to talk about um, are you deserving of what it is you want, right? Think about the person you do want, the companion you do want, and ask yourself, does that person who I want, would they be attracted to someone of my caliber, like of your own caliber, right? I feel like this is a question you really need to ask yourself and you really need to say like, am I conducting myself in a way that is truthful to me, first of all, and is the maximum potential of the truthful version of me um, attractive to the person I want? Is, is that aligned? I say this because um, the other day I was hanging out with a couple friends at my university's student center. And one of the girls said, uh, oh, you know, I want to, I want to finance. My, my type is a finance bro. I was like, okay, cool. Um, but I was thinking, are finance bros attracted to her, right? That is the, the real question. Hold on. I'm going to move, move spots. <laughs> I don't want to get too, I don't want this camera to get freaking ruined. Yeah, are finance bros attracted to her, right? She has to ask herself that question. Does she dress in a way that finance bros are attracted to? Um, you know, and I'm not saying you got to change yourself to attract your type. What I'm saying is you have to understand that how you conduct yourself may be misaligned with the person you're trying to attract, okay? So, you know, she shouldn't change herself for someone else, right? She should just be who she wants to be. But she has to ask herself, is that who I really want to attract? And is that who I am able to attract, right? Um, so, you know, going back to the topic I discussed before, you have to just be yourself unapologetically and authentically. Um, and then you will find that puzzle piece, right? This is why I don't believe in the, the co concept of having a type. I think um, type is so, so um, simplistic, you know, saying, oh, I like one specific race, I like one specific thing. Maybe certain races do have certain characteristics that you do like or certain, you know, subgenres of people have characteristics you do like but people are have large variance in who they are um, so to her if I were to give her some advice I know she didn't ask for any advice but the takeaway from that is that <laughs> just be yourself authentically and you know maybe you might not attract that finance bro that you do want um, and that's your fault, right? But you shouldn't you shouldn't change yourself to to go for those finance bros. Um, I think that's an idea that's just injected into your brain. That's just should not be the case, right? Maybe maybe what you do like about finance bros is that they're financially stable and they can um they can provide for you, right? Maybe that's what you like. Um, but you really have to ask yourself what it is, what do I like about, you know, what, what characteristics are good in a partner and do I embody the characteristics of someone deserving of a person with those characteristics, right? If I want a wholesome girlfriend, which I do, you know, someone who cooks, cleans, is in touch with nature. It's very feminine, right? Am I someone deserving of that, right? And I think 
the the you don't have to be deserving at the moment you can be on track to be deserving right but the whole point is you have to be in the right trajectory of another person's trajectory it has to be aligned the trajectory and ultimately in the end there's not there's not really an end but ultimately you're going in the same direction which is what should be done right um so let's just think a wholesome girlfriend who cooks cleans is in touch with nature and very feminine very soft very elegant well-mannered put together right who does she like she likes a guy who is also put together is very competent in all aspects of life um you know whether that be financially charismatically socially i guess that's charismatically you know physically you know and is that is that i feel like that's a person i am working towards at the moment right someone who is competent in all aspects of life that's certainly a person i i strive to be um and i think on a wider scale of things right you have to ask yourself what is your narrative you know if you if you're only leading by fear in the sense that like oh you know i don't want to get addicted to watching pornography oh i need to stop scrolling you know very an avoidant mindset rather than like a leading mindset in the sense of like instead of worrying about what you should not be doing you should worry about what you should be doing you know rather than look at the negative aspect of things you can look at the positive aspect and say like how will i lead my life you know so instead of being like oh i didn't masturbate for x days and um i didn't my my screen time has been down to this like instead you should lead you should have this lead with your narrative right who 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 is the person you want to be right am i i, I am i want to be that competent person right and so i'm like if i wake up every day thinking you know i i need to embody the characteristics of that competent person right i won't even have to worry about oh you know it's been x days since i watched pornography it's been x days since my screen time has been this right i think if you lead with your narrative and who you want to be right you won't have to worry about all those other obstacles i i mentioned this in the other video that i said um you know if you're a skier skiing through a forest if you focus on the trees all you're going to see is the trees i truly believe that um so you should lead not with an avoidant mindset of the obstacles but rather uh you should lead with your goal and your objective in sight you know literally speaking for the uh for the metaphor but also metaphorically speaking for life you know look at where you want to go and just go there right everything else will kind of uh uh put itself in place okay yeah just to be clear on that point about leading rather than having this avoidant mindset if all you're worrying about is oh i don't want to you know fall into a bad habits again like it's going to be very hard whereas like let's say i want to kick an addiction or I want less screen time or, you know, whatever it is, right? If I have a purpose and I'm actually chasing something, let's say I'm building a brand or something, I wouldn't even have time to think about avoiding the these things. I would just naturally avoid it. Does that make sense? So like if I want to kick um playing video games, it shouldn't be I shouldn't wake up being like, "Oh, you know, I can't, I shouldn't play video games today." It's like I should wake up in a more leading mindset where it's like, "Oh, I got to build my business. Okay, let me go build it." Right? And in doing and in chasing that thing, you know, everything else follows as I said, and I won't even think about playing video games. So, instead of the avoidant mindset, have a leading mindset, lead with a purpose and everything else will fall in place. So, yeah, that is a bit of wisdom I can offer you guys today. Um ask yourself really like really ask yourself who what kind of character person 
do I want in my life? What kind of companion do I want? Um, and then ask yourself, am I deserving? Am I working towards being the person deserving of that ideal person that I want, right? And is that, some, is that, is that person someone I am aligned with? Is that, is that person someone I want to be, right? Not just for the sake of getting a companion, but also for the sake of just, you know, self-actualization. Is that someone I want to be? Um, and then work towards being that person if it is, right? And the way you do that is lead with your narrative, not with the obstacle avoidance mindset. So I hope I could give you guys some type of uh, wisdom on this fine, rainy Sunday morning. Um, look at this tree. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to keep walking. Hopefully get a coffee and hit the gym. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.